Good morning! We officially arrived in Rome. We're making tea. It is, what time is it? 1? 1, 1.30? 2. Almost 3. We just arrived. So the deal was to go to Rome for my birthday and also because I've never been. So we're here. Yeah, I tried something. <laughs> Don't judge. The place is super, super cool. It's so well decorated. So I'm gonna take you guys around. First, I'm gonna show you the little balcony moment because so cute. So in my room, I have two windows. So this one and this one right here. And the window actually leads to this place right here. You got a little restaurant downstairs. So I'm gonna show you guys the room tour. So that is the entrance. And it's so, so sweet. You got a Bluetooth speaker. And right by the entrance, you have the bathroom. So yeah, I already put my stuff. I kept it organized though. So here is the bathroom. You got the shower. The first bed is here and then you have this little wall and you got the second room with all the little frames on the wall and you have similar frames on this side of the wall with a little chair and my bag. Oh, so they got us some sort of wine and some fresh fruit. And there's a little map of the city right here. So that's a map of Rome. We're here. And they have the cutest thing here. These are little postcards of different monuments that you can find in Rome. The Colosseum. It's very thoughtful and it's actually handmade. And these are little postcards at the same time that you can use to just write on. Okay, so we're done with the room tour. We had to take a bus from the airport to the city center and then we got dropped off at the train station because that's where all the buses go. And then we had to walk to the hotel. It was mostly like downhill. The issue is that when we're gonna have to leave, it's gonna go back up. So we'll have to like climb the streets, but it's fine. Well, it's fine because I didn't carry the luggage. <laughs> so I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing. Not laughing at all. We're gonna go adventure in the city. And I'm gonna change because like I do not like to stay in my airport fit. So I'm just gonna pick something more comfortable. It's not like we have an, an itinerary. The only thing is that I want to eat. But I'm really focused on the pasta side of this trip because it was kind of like the number one reason why I decided to pick Rome for the food. Uh, obviously the history and all that stuff. But the food. But um, first tea I guess. And Okay, so we got some peaches, kiwis, cantaloupe, and pineapple. Cheers! It's like a good welcome gift. This is good. The kiwi is not my favorite. <laughs> you gave me like a little tiny ass mug. You're extra or you're not. Also, I didn't tell you guys that they actually have slippers. Tell me you're a size 5 without telling me you're a size 5. I'll start. This is me with the slippers. Cute. That's the choice for today. So for the Zara dress, it's gonna be this little handbag from Zara. And for this H&M dress, it's gonna be the mango bag. And I'm most likely gonna wear my Birkenstock with both. Okay. So this is the entire fit with the little bag and the shoes. So I'm kind of like digging the vibe. Yay! We're just like hanging out in Monty. They have a bunch of thrift stores. We 
just had ice cream in like the most amazing setting and the ice cream was so good like so fruity I am standing next to a fountain one of the many fountains that they have in Rome basically you have these all over the city providing fresh water and it is so cool and so smart because it is hot also somebody explained how come there's like a sticker there's a guy's face on the sticker and it's massively creepy what is that? so if you guys know what it means let me know because I don't so basically we're in front of the Colosseum Massive. That's the only thing I have to say. Uh, there's so, so many people out here right now. Okay, we are back uh, at the hotel. We're actually gonna head out and we're just gonna go to dinner. That's the outfit for dinner. With some red lips, I thought it was like super cute. And I went with a low sleek bun. And we have a dinner reservation at a place called Cucina del Teatro. So we have to walk there, which is the reason why I got some comfy shoes. Hopefully we're gonna have some good pasta. I'm excited and I'm starving, so I cannot wait. That's what my sister is wearing. And next to that, I'm wearing <laughs> sneakers. Did we just catch golden hour and literally the sunset like two minutes before the sunset? Does it make sense? That is so pretty. Hold on. I feel like every corner is like a pretty street. They put like, you know, ivy and Christmas lights and that's it. Pinterest picture is right there. Also, we passed a place. I have to tell you, they were doing like meat stuff, so like charcuterie and stuff. It was smelling absolutely divine. And we're not even that much into meat. So we passed the Trevi Fountain. It was packed with people. Packed, packed, packed. just left the restaurant it was very good there's no but <laughs> yeah there's no but it was super tasty i got the pasta with parmesan cheese and pepper and then i got a tiramisu the people were super nice the prices are good to be honest a first dinner here amazing food and if i had to rate it from zero to ten i would give it a 9.5 so I think the rest of the trip is gonna be very interesting because how can you top that? I do not know. So about dinner I had tuna with um, some sort of yogurt sauce and um, crispy manioc. It was just gorgeous, gorgeous food. The, um, the flavors were amazing and um, yeah definitely very interesting. Rated from 0 to 10? Solid 8. Okay.